What's going on? This is David Whitney with Alpha Hawk Fitness. All right, guys, I'm just drinking my coffee. I'm about to get my workout pretty soon. It's Wednesday, leg day. Coffee pre-workout, I'm not taking that stuff I was taking before that's packed with those stems. I still got some of it left in my cabinet. I had to fall back on that stuff. Check my previous videos if you want more details on that stuff. But um, I just wanted to talk about um, some of the benefits of intermittent fasting when it comes to fat mobilization, some of the unique benefits that intermittent fasting gives us. But first of all, I just wanted to say, it's not magic. Intermittent fasting is not magic. No, intermittent fasting is not magic. Well, intermittent fasting is not magic. And the number one thing with any fat loss program is that you got to be in a caloric deficit. And intermittent fasting is no different in that respect. You still have to be in a caloric deficit. You still got to know how much calories you can eat to be in a caloric deficit and lose weight every week. And for more information on that, if you want to figure out how to adjust your calories to be in a caloric deficit, you could check out my previous videos. But there are benefits that are unique to intermittent fasting, besides just being able to eat large meals while dieting. It has benefits! Intermittent fasting does have some unique benefits to it when it comes to fat mobilization. And some of those um, hormonal changes that occur in our bodies when we're in the fasted state are growth hormone. Um, growth hormone is elevated. Now, I think a lot of us already heard about that. That's a commonly talked about thing, a commonly talked about benefit of intermittent fasting. So this leads a lot of people to believe that intermittent fasting has unique anabolic capabilities with it. But really, this isn't true because in order for um, growth hormone to be anabolic, insulin has to be present. So that means we have to be in the fed state. So in the fasted state, growth hormone isn't anabolic, but it does still have um, benefits. Growth hormone helps with fat mobilization. So in the fastest state, growth hormone is elevated and that helps us to mobilize fat to be burned for energy. Another thing that helps to mobilize fat to be burned for energy is something I talked about in a previous video and that's the release of adrenaline and noradrenaline. And these chemicals are associated with um, the fight or flight. Like, you know, cause you know what adrenaline is. So anyways, like I talked about before, those help to mobilize fat stores for energy. Um, what else? Oh, glucagon levels rise. So glucagon is like the opposite. Um, like imagine if it's a seesaw. When insulin is high, glucagon is low. And when insulin is low, glucagon is high. And glucagon helps to mobilize glycogen stores for on um, to be burned for energy. And it also helps with fat mobilization. So you see, there are hormonal benefits to intermittent fasting. But, you know, there's slight benefits. You know, I don't want to over, you know, um, overstate these. It's kind of similar to caffeine. You know, caffeine is uh, like a thermogenic. It helps us with fat mobilization also and helps to speed up our metabolism. But it's not something that, like if I'm drinking caffeine and another guy who's doing the exact same program as me and is in the exact same size caloric deficit proportion to his metabolism is not drinking caffeine, it's not like I'm gonna have some super advantage over him. You know, it's going to be minuscule. It's going to be, you know, small. You probably can't even measure it because it's so small compared to the other variables like getting proper rest and nutrition, um, the quality of your workout. But with that being said, there still are some unique benefits to intermittent fasting. Well, I just want to go over that, guys. But um, stay tuned for future videos. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm about to go get to this leg day. All right. Until next time.